Hello everyone, hope you are doing great. Well, today I have brought you the fifth episode of the City of Ephesus series. In today's particular episode, you are going to visit the lower city of the city of Ephesus. I think you must have noticed in the last video that there are two parts of this, this, the city. One is the upper, upper city and one is the lower city. So today we are going to visit the lower part of the city and what buildings are there, who were the people who were living there, like the Fountain's House, um, what was the streets all about, how were the shops, and how, the, how were the people enjoying that time. And also the Hydrian's Temple, yeah, you'll visit that as well. And you know what? You'll also know what is exactly the idol that is there on the um, Starbucks, their logo. Um, well, that is Medusa. You would know why they have done it and what is the importance of that. Keep, keep watching and you would know a lot. If you like more of such historical videos, please do let me know in the comment below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do so right now and enjoy the video. building with a triangle pediment from the Greek inscriptions written there belong to that building original from the inscriptions this was another fountain house for what it is for public use fountain house road, built by Romans again in the second century AD and from the inscriptions the fountain house was dedicated to famous Roman Emperor Trajanus Trajanus who wrote in the second century AD so fountain of Trajanus Trajan like a memorial temple like fountain but also he was for water needs for public use uh, see in the middle part there is a canal and there is a pool here pool and drainage system in the 1980s, he was re-erected, restored with some original, some imitations. See, mortar cement parts are not original, but marble pieces are mostly original. Today, looking some simple, but in the past, he was very, very impressive fountain with columns, capitals, statues, sculptures were decorated in front side. Just down there, there is an imagination how it used to be in the past. We can see and you can imagine how it was. I like that imagination because we can see the details of the fountain house on that picture. You can see details. See here now. Wow. As you see here, you can see details and it was much more impressive. It had two galleries, one, two floors. At the top, semicircular and triangular pediments. See the columns, but today mostly missing. The columns, pillars are mostly missing. And the statues are missing also. We cannot see the statues. They had statues, mythological statues. And in the middle part, in the center, there was a colossal marble statue of Emperor Trajanus, nearly three meters high. Uh, Trajanus. A marble material. And he was depicted on a round shaped bowl like this he was depicted in some sources that round shaped bowl was symbolizing shape of world globe okay. most probably they knew that the shape of world was round in the past and they depicted a statue of trianus on top of a bowl like this ruling resting or ruling over the world because during the reign of Emperor Trajanus, Roman Empire lived its golden time. And the empire reached its greatest extent. They controlled over 6.5 million kilometers square land surface during wow. his reign. Wow. So the empire was extended. And to show, to indicate that, they, they erected a statue of Emperor Trajanus, just like ruling uh, the whole world. over the world. Ruling or resting. But in some sources, there was a pennant on top of that round shape ball. So archaeological, that is not that efficient option for that. Here you can see the statue and the globe. Yeah. How do we know he was looking like this in the past? Today, not much left, but here you can see 
how do we know or, or how do archaeologists know he was looking like this in the past? Because in the Agora, near the library, in the marketplace, there was a mint, minting coins, money makers, the bronze, silver, golden coins they were minting. So, on the money coins, most of the buildings of the city were depicted. Temples, monuments, fountains ah, were depicted okay. on coins. So, while digging, doing excavations, we find coins with the depictions of the buildings. Okay. So, we know from the coins. By Romans in the 4th century AD mosaics, 4th century. Romans applied them in front of shops, workshops, taverns. These were the shops, I think. Maybe this was a butcher, maybe this was a barber, maybe this was a tailor, maybe that was a internet cafe. Join a shop. <laughs> McDonald's, Starbucks, lots of shops. <laughs> Behind the shops, houses, residential units or apartment like tenements, houses. Mosaic for the normal almost, people, right? Sorry? For normal people. No, for Public. rich and wealthy. Rich and wealthy, okay. Middle and lower class people were living outside. Outside, houses, okay. In shabby, squalid tenements, wooden houses. Middle and lower class were running farming, animal breeding outside of houses. But in, in the city walls, in those palace-like houses, Rich and wealthy of the city were living. Nobles, senators, governors, high priests and their families. Even the businessmen? Business class, yeah, yeah business okay. class. Mosaic platform was for pedestrian, like a walking, strolling gallery in front of shops. So everybody passing by could catch a glimpse of the goods inside shops yeah. in the past. So ancient merchants were exhibiting their products in some way. Everybody could see the products while passing by. So he was for pedestrian. But the marble road was open to sky and he was for vehicles, carts drawn by oxen, horses. He was for pedestrian and he was covered by wooden ceilings between pillars and shops were covered. But one question, sorry, yes. I'm interrupting you. When we moved from upper city to lower city, yes. there was like very narrow passage, right? Yes. So how the carts would like go from upper to lower city? For upper city, there was no permission for the carts. So only this was like only till here? Exactly. You okay. remember in Hercules case? Yeah. He was limit for carts. Okay. Because in the upper city they had official buildings, tombs. Okay. No, Nothing is allowed yeah, there. No permission for carts, only pedestrian. Okay. But here carts could move because it's wide and yeah. quite long, nearly 300 meters from right. gate to the, till the end. From the end again, to the right, there is another marble road for carts, for vehicles. Okay. And then the last one is Port Street, the third main street. The carts could move there as well. Streets were very important for Greece and Romans in the past, especially for Romans. Streets were meeting points, meeting places was. Okay. Today we have cafeterias, cafe bar like places, but in the past they had streets mm. where they were meeting on streets. They were talking, talking, socializing, drinking, singing, shouting. Generally, Romans, they love to converse, to argue, to discuss. They would have been drinking, laughing, singing, shouting all the time on the streets. So you call them crazy? Yeah. <laughs> Quite noisy at that time. Very noisy. Ouch. Now I have my head of it. This lavishly, richly decorated building was a small shrine, small temple. Temple, okay. From the inscription, it was dedicated to famous Roman emperor Hadrianus. Hadrianus. In the second century AD. Temple of Hadrian. So people were worshipping emperors as, uh, as semi-gods, demigods. So this was a temple in the name of an emperor, Hadrianus. Temple of Hadrian. With a semicircular part at the top. And just behind there is a pediment with a female woman was depicted in. Who is, who is she in the pediment with curly snake hairs? Medusa. Medusa was depicted in the pediment for Medusa. protection of the temple to drive devil and demon. 
because according to their mythical belief in mythology, Medusa, she had the power to transform people who look directly at her into stone. stone ah, she was the one. <laughs> when you look at her directly, she, she could turn you into stone. No, I'm good. But if you have glasses, no problem. <laughs> So she is there for protection of the temple and she was depicted like Starbucks. Yeah. Starbucks, the company, they inspired some from the figure of Medusa. Medusa. So today it's symbol of Starbucks. You can see clearly they yeah. inspired some, like an inspiration. In the arch there is another female, can you see? On keystone in the arch. Mm -hmm. Who is she this time? Fortune goddess Fortuna. Fortuna. Goddess of fortune, good luck. And she was sister to whom? To Nike, Nike. Okay. Nike and Fortuna, they are S siblings. sisters in mythology. Okay. So she was goddess of fortune, good luck in the arch. Four columns on top of columns, Corinthian style capital. And four bases without statues. Statues were smuggled. They had statues of emperors, important people, benefactors, but they were robbed. In the corners on the right, you can see Amazons, woman warriors, mm -hmm. on the right in the corner. And on the left in the corner, you see Artemis Apollo Zeus, mythical founder of Andraclos, were depicted on the left in the, in the corner. But they are imitations, not original. Original ones are in the museums. In the 1980s, Temple of Hadrian was also re-erected, restored, and they did a great restoration. Yeah, they did. With some original, some imitations. For example, arch, medusa, and four plinths bases are original. But the round shape and rectangular shape columns are imitations or artificial. So the dark brownish parts are original, but light white parts are mostly imitations. Okay. But still good job, good restoration. Very good. Not yeah. bad. So what was the religion there? Paganism. 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 What was that? Idol worshipping it means. Okay. Idol worshipping or they were worshipping emperors as well. Okay, paganism. They were called pagans. Pagans. And the religion was called paganism. Pagan. Paganism, okay. Before Christianity, they were worshipping mythological gods and gods and emperors. Cool. Paganism.